<laughs> yeah, but once I researched why Europe had banned it, um, all the countries in Europe had bans against tail docking, and then Australia followed suit. And once I realized that it was pain, I was inflicting pain all my life that they had to just deal with. Historically, but deal with it. I couldn't do it anymore. And now watching and comparing, you know, having so many years of dog tail dogs, yeah. and now the long tail, I can compare and contrast. Yeah. That is such a pain-free, happy tail that Good. I've come to love the full natural <laughs> tail. So what do you do for puppy shots? Um, I do the series of three that um, Colorado State University and Dr. Dodds recommends the eight weeks, 12 weeks, and after four months. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and then suggest the booster at a year, and then suggest don't do them ever again. They have lifetime yep. immunity. Yeah, except for rabies. Because except of, for rabies. Yeah. But rabies, um, hopefully soon, there's two challenge studies going on Good. trying to move, uh, move rabies up to every five years. That would be perfect. Uh, yeah. University of Wisconsin with Dr. Schultz. Yeah. And again, Colorado State University are both yeah. doing the challenge studies. And I think they'll manage to get it moved up to every five. Yeah. Rabies is kind of a harsh vaccine, a harsh carrier portion. They want to then re-challenge and move it up to every seven because all their research has shown that they uh, keep full 100% antibody production levels up until at least 11 years old. Yeah. But the fact rabies is still transmissible and still a fatal disease, I don't think they'll get it moved up to every seven. I don't think the states will go along with that. Um, but I'm thinking at least we'll go to every five. That would be good, 